like running. What's just happened? <sighs> Bet you can't keep up with me. Tale of Vanessa.
No, it's yeah. okay. That's sick. I have to go all the way back here for the hint and anyway. Yay, pigeon. Traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? Uh. <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Avonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But... We do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great. Come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Avonia's gliding manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, Birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? 
To which the animal god replied, You have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. That's a cool story, but is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber. Oh yeah, I gotta ask that dude. upstairs. My daughter. That's sweet. Oh, that <laughs> doesn't sound very good. Hot guy number one. So You're back. Secrets. Looks like you got the intel. Yes, and three six armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What riddles? How quaint. <laughs> Let me think. The city in the lake is clearly Mondstadt. As for the six armed giants, giant crabs. crabs. 
<laughs> crab people. Aside from asking just where we would find giant crabs, crabs have eight legs, not six. Hey, that's smart. A windmill has six blades. It fits. Wow, that makes sense. So out of the three windmills, two are close to the statue. The other one is guarding. Ooh, ooh, this one Paimon knows, the treasure. <laughs> let's hope it's really that simple. Come on, let's go take a look around that windmill. Yeah, I'll have to blow you up a new balloon soon. You can pick whatever color you want. Okay, so the windmill. I don't think we have red, baby. We just have like the pastel balloons right now. up there. Windmill here and the there. Where's the They're all kind of relatively close to me. I'm gonna assume this is the odd one. Oh no, I'm gonna lose it. No! Yay! Ooh! No, don't jump off yet. <laughs> Let me see. 
she doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. There's another map! More riddles? Paimon's dizzy already! Oh no! Paimon used up all her brain juice! He never had any to begin with. Paimon will let you have all the fun! Or you could get Kaya to help! She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. Any idea what that means? Is this some page stripped from a love novel that you just happened to find? Oh, so it's not a clue. No wonder someone as clever as Paimon wasn't able to get it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hmm. Take this more seriously, Kaya. <laughs> this riddle is hard to figure out. Clear Spring. Is it referring to Springvale? Passion rushing through the clear spring. So when does passion rush through a clear spring? Not a bad idea. Like when there's a waterfall, for example. It appears the solution to this enigma relates to the waterfall behind Springvale. Only the clear spring that blesses Mondstadt can reveal the passion described here. And the heart of the waterfall must refer to the cliff on the left side of the waterfall. I noticed it once when I was out on patrol in the area. The ending, cold and alone, probably has something to do with cryo, which can be controlled by a vision. You should probably take someone who can manipulate cryo with you. It's nothing. If a knight of Favonius couldn't even answer a riddle, how could we be trusted to solve criminal mysteries? Let's go take a look in Springvale. We'll leave you to your criminal mysteries. Um. Uh, no, wait. Um, leave you to solving your criminal mysteries. I go do this. I can get my license.
here. Did you have a good read-through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh... What? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. <laughs> just glide like you're used to. I'm only gonna play for another okay, 20 then. more minutes. And you then just need to follow the we'll marked play, okay? route to the finish. Okay, that. You nailed it! But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. Teleport. Yeah, buddy. Anything the knights can do for you. Hey, here! Over here! I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the exam. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. 
Wait, I didn't know again. Oh. Fucked it up. the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the- Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, what's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. Man, oh my license. Oh my friend, why an adventure?
This is Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows! It's from a frame of a wing glider, therefore... There are no elemental traces on it. Oh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. Fountain spirits, please come to me again. Love, <laughs> what a bore. Do not go on the end. Yeah, no worries.
is the meaning of life. <sighs> Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. around and found out, didn't you? with the animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wing glider is broken. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to... F Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. Oh, I can climb trees? That's cool. Goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly troll camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village. But the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, 
Some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out into the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for now, um, but I'll pick back up later. I just gotta get some stuff done. Oh yeah, I'm tired too. Alright, thanks for stopping by and watching my stream.